Hello, my name is Jack Wiles, and this is Michael Boches, and we are both chemical engineering students enrolled at Bucknell University. Today, we are going to be your guides through the fascinating world of polymer processing. We are going to focus on a polymer processing technique known as single screw extrusion. Single screw extrusion, also known as SSE, is one of the most fundamental processing techniques in the industrial world. See what this machine is all about? Let's go check out the lab. Welcome to Break Iron Engineering Building. In our lab here at Bucknell, we have a miniature version of the machinery that would normally be seen in an industrial process. Today, the instrument we'll be showing you is the Killian KLB 075 Bench Model Extruder. It contains a single screw with a diameter of 19 millimeters and a length of 46 centimeters. Single screw extrusion is used to process thermoplastic pellets into strands. Multiple polymers can be used to create blends, or fillers can be added to produce composites. These combinations are prepared before the samples are added to the hopper. Today we will be processing polypropylene pellets with a green dye. Before the machinery is on, you must always remember to suit up. The materials are added to the machine through a hopper. The hopper is located upstream of the barrel screw assembly and the pellets drop down into the barrel from there. The process is driven by a screw. Here's an example of a screw. The screw is encased in a barrel here which is heated to melt the polymer. It is driven by this motor. As the screw turns, the molten polymer is conveyed down the barrel and mixes the materials that were fed. The polymer melts as it moves down the barrel towards the die section. Because the die is a much smaller orifice, pressure develops. A strand of molten polymer at a constant thickness comes out of the die. Notice how it is a nice, well-mixed material. This processed material can either be cooled and cut into small pellets, or it can go straight into a mold to be shaped into whatever product is desired. Parameters that can be controlled in this process are the barrel and die temperatures and the screw speed. The temperatures are adjusted for each zone using the screens at the top of the control panel. Temperatures are chosen based on the softening temperature of the polymer being extruded. The screw speed is set using the knob on the lower portion of the control panel. The screw speed will ultimately control the residence time of the materials or how long the materials spend inside the extruder. We hope you enjoyed this brief look into single screw extrusion. It has many unique processing capabilities and can be used to process a multitude of materials. Thanks for watching, and we hope it was a beneficial experience for you.